Spare was initially planning to launch its blockchain-enabled digital asset platform and the Spurcoin stablecoin by spring 2021. Russian banking giant Spare, formerly known as Spurbank, is preparing to complete its first digital currency deal involving the bank's proprietary digital asset platform soon. The bank will conduct its first transaction involving digital financial assets, DFA, on its digital asset issuance platform by mid-July. Anatoly Popov, deputy chairman of Spare's executive board, disclosed Spare's plans to complete such a deal in an interview with the state-backed news agency TASS on June 15th. Popov claimed that Spare finally received registration from the country's central bank, the Bank of Russia, in spring 2022, following a series of registration delays. Spare has been struggling to register its digital asset issuance platform, initially expected to launch alongside its Spurcoin stablecoin by spring 2021. While the latest news doesn't directly mention the application of blockchain on Spare's platform, Popov noted that the bank is committed to exploring the technology, stating, We are looking closely at the development of new technologies like distributed ledger technology. We are studying how blockchain technologies are developing. Our platform has already passed acceptance tests, and the first transaction will take place within a month. The news came in conjunction with VTB, Russia's second-largest bank, also preparing to test the purchase of DFAs in exchange for Russia's central bank digital currency, the digital ruble, in September 2022. VTB's board member Sviatoslav Ostrovsky reportedly announced plans to launch a new platform to buy digital rubles at the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum on June 15. The Russian parliament passed a new bill in the first reading to prohibit the use of DFAs as payment for goods and services on Tuesday.